Hello, I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and a proud friend of Eduardo Rodriguez, who's joining us today. The work that he has done and so many other people who've joined together to make sure our community has a historical base and that we have the opportunity to make sure everyone knows about the American Latino experience. He and so many others have done the heavy lifting been working with Congress. Your Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has been a partner as well in ensuring that this comes to fruition. Let me begin by welcoming our friend, Estuardo Rodriguez. Thanks for joining us and good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here and, and give you an update. Folks who may not be keeping up with the news and everything that's going on with this museum, talk to them a little bit about where we are in this process and what it means for Latinos. This has really been uh, an amazing uh, few months, even amid all of the challenges that our country has been facing to see a bipartisan effort in Washington, D.C. over the last several months, first in the House of Representatives in June and July, 294 Republicans and Democrats coming together to pass by unanimous consent the National American Latino Museum Act, which would create um, and a, an official program and effort for the Smithsonian to look into the building of a National American Latino Museum on our National Mall here in Washington, D.C. But how are you feeling right now knowing that you're like right at the edge of a big decision being made? Well, I'm very excited. Uh, this has been, uh, as you said, it's been a long time. I've been involved in this effort since the end of 2004. So I'm going on 16 years in this project and, and I, I'm not trying to throw that out there uh, you know, to make it sound like it's been too long. When you look at the African American Museum, uh, they took closer to 45, uh, if not 50 years, depending on when you start counting, uh, between their efforts and the opening of the, those doors. And I wanna be clear, this bill passing is huge, but we then, now, we, we then have to move into the fundraising stage. Uh, we have a 50-50 model, just like the American, uh, African American Museum did. Uh, a 50-50 model that the government will, will produce uh, half the money to construct and run this museum and the private sector will similarly have to um, do their job. So we're shooting for $350 million from the private sector side, as well as the fight to make sure that we get the best location currently available on the National Mall. 30 million tourists go to the National Mall every year. We cannot be relegated to some other space down behind the Capitol. We have to be right there yes. on the National Mall in one of, if not two of the, of the best current vacant spaces on the National Mall. And I'm glad that our representatives here in Texas are behind this effort. And so we'll keep our fingers crossed and continue to advocate for representation, not only with this museum, but for so many other important, important matters that impact the Latino community throughout this country. Anything else you'd like to mention before we end our interview? I mean, the American Latino history lives in everyone's home around great states like Texas and California, Florida. Uh, people don't, you know, don't keep in mind that these exhibits um, that go that have, are currently living in the African American Museum. They came from somewhere. They weren't already in a smaller Smithsonian Museum. M much of it came from the homes uh, of the African American community around the country. Our storytelling that's going to present be presented in the National American Latino Museum will come from you, uh, your grandparents that served in the military, your your great grandparents that helped settle some of the first cities across. Uh, across the country. I mean, these are moments for you to think about what stories have you kept to yourself that can be shared? And no, it's not, no one's gonna come to your house tomorrow to pick up all those exhibits, but start thinking about that because at some point, that's what we're gonna wanna know, what we're gonna wanna do. We're gonna wanna know your stories and share those for millions of tourists around the country. So I invite you to, to please take part in this. The AmericanLatinoMuseum.org stands ready to take your information and, and get your help to make sure that the senators know that you're, you're standing behind this 100%, but also this is going to be your museum. So I'm very excited to make sure that you all are part of this with us for the, you know, the journey that remains. Well, that's what it's all about is sharing our stories and the Latino experience. And so Eduardo, thank you for all of your efforts and thank you very much for including the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in your efforts and so many other individuals and organizations across the country. Congratulations for all Thank that you, you have done and for what we know will be tremendously impactful for decades and decades to come. All the best. We'll see you soon. Thank you.